Kutsun ba hanap mo? Alright, it's 2 in the morning and I'm craving pita bread. So, we're gonna make some. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to the second episode of this series called Quality This Quarantine. Now for sure, alam mo naman na yung topic natin ngayon. Kasi nabasa mo sa title mismo pa lang, di ba? But the reason why this is our second topic for this series is nowadays kasi may kita mo because of our circumstances talagang lumalabas at nakikita natin yung totoong content ng bawat isa. I don't know if that's what boredom gives us or makes us but at the same time, nakakatawa rin. Kasi mas nakikilala natin yung bawat isa. Yung ibang tao na tahimik dati, ngayon, post na ng post. At sobrang dumami ngayon yung mga YouTube channels. Now, when we say content, hindi lang to about sa amin na gumagawa ng mga ganito. It has also something to do with you, with us, as a person. Hindi lang ito yung mga pinapost namin or yung mga ginagawa namin. Kundi on this context is ito mismo yung laman natin. Yung nasa puso natin. And again, nowadays talagang lumalabas yung content ng puso natin. Yung mga cravings natin. Yung mga unnecessary or kung ano mang lifestyle na meron tayo. Na namimiss natin. Na dati feeling natin hindi natin kaya kung wala yun. A lot of people misses people. That's a content. But in all of these things, quality content ba yung nasa puso mo? Or yung sinisigaw ng sarili mo. And again, hindi po ako magbibigay ng checklist dito or ng standards or ng kung ano man para malaman natin na quality yung content na meron tayo. Pero in a way, we can assess. Kasi when we say content, ito yung mga pinapanood natin. Ito yung mga binibigay natin sa sarili natin. What we feed our minds and soul. So, i-check mo naman kung ano yung mga pinafollow mo, mga sinusubscribe mo na mga tao or mga pages. Kasi, mostly in a way, yun ang content natin. Hindi mo siya pwedeng sabihin na ibang part yun ng life ko eh. Ibang side ko yun. Kasi dati hindi ako nag sa phrases ng mga matanda na tell me who your friends are and I will tell you who you are. Until nung tumanda na rin ako, nag-gets ko na tama nga pala sila. Kasi we cannot say na hindi nakaka-influence yun sa atin. Little by little, na-influence yan tayo ng mga yun. Now, in order for us to have a quality content, We must be mindful of the word wholesome. Wholesome ba yung mga napapanood mo? Wholesome ba yung mga ginagawa mong videos? O baka naman hindi mo ma-assess kasi in the first place hindi mo alam kung ano yung mismong content na meron ka. Maybe all throughout your life or maybe and up until now, iniisip mo pa rin kung ano yung content mo. And there are a lot of students and people like this nowadays. They don't know what they're passionate about. They don't know their life's calling or purpose. Kaya nowadays in our society and generation, sobrang dami nag-shift ng course or ng mga strands kasi hindi nila alam eh kung ano ba talaga yung gusto nila. Maybe yung iba hindi pa rin alam kung ano ba yung wholesome content nila. Kasi they don't know their wholesome self. At lahat tayo, dumaan din naman tayo sa face na nagpaka-plastic tayo para lang ma-accept ng mga tao. All of us, we long to be accepted and to belong in a group in society. At darating ka sa point na sobrang maraming aalis dyan at malalaman mo na ay hindi pala talaga ako para dito. And that's okay kasi mas nakikilala mo yung sarili mo. Pero sa'yo, na nanonood ngayon, are you really yourself whenever you're with those people? Are you really yourself whenever you create videos? Are you really yourself whenever you share something to people? Wholesome content means what you do and who you are resonates with you. Kasi if you're doing things for people just because your audience like it, what if one day, yung audience mo o yung mga kaibigan mo ngayon na nakapaligid sa'yo, hindi na gusto yun. Now, you also don't like it. At least by the end of the day or by the end of your life or our life, you can say that I left a legacy and I will leave a legacy. That I did what I like. Those things that I said, those videos I created, the course that I've taken, the job that I work with, they're all me. No one else. That's why in creating this second episode in our series, sobrang nahirapan na ako sa paghanap ng topics. Kasi ang daming naka-line up na topic. But when I ask people, yung mga growth advocates, parang wala rin silang masabi kasi sobrang dami ang pwedeng i-discuss. And if yung iba nag-suggest ng topic, nahirapan na akong gawa ng video. Kasi maybe it's not yet the, ta- the right time to do it. Or maybe hindi pa siya nag-resonate sa akin. Hindi pa siya yung sa sa mga topic na kapag diniscuss ko or sinabi ko sa inyo, masabi ko na I did my all, that's my best. And in contemplation at sa pagtingin-tingin sa social media, nakita ko na the true contents of people nowadays are being shown. Who we really are, our character, are seen on these kinds of days, on raw footage or raw file, if I may say. Kasi walang filter. Walang distraction na ito yung ginagawa ko sa work. Walang distraction 
na gagala ka. And a lot of us maybe are struggling sa family natin. Yung ibang family is lalo silang masaya kasi they have more time with themselves. Yung iba naman hirap na hirap kasi yung totoong content ng heart nila ay lumalabas. Kasi lalo silang nag-aaway-aaway. Ito na yung pita. So hinati ko na siya. And then add butter. First bite. Sarap. Even if you eat this as plain as it is, it's still the best. Ang sarap. Kahit walang feeling, butter lang or kahit plain na yun, sarap. Pag-aalasin ko na po. Tuna. Tuna. Mmm. Oh, man. Ma, take a bite. Kagat. Oh. Pasado. <laughs> In all of these things, when we say wholesome content, always remember that everything has its audience. Just like for example, on this YouTube channel of mine, maybe some of you subscribed already or not. But then in the end, I know that I will lose people, more people, kasi they don't know what they signed up for. They don't know what they subscribe to. What kind of content they will see. And that's okay. Just like in life, we lose people. And therefore, mas naging wholesome yung pagkatao natin or yung pagkatao nila. Kasi they're finding out those people that resonates with them. Kasi nga, hindi ka para sa lahat. And just like yung pita bread. Pero again, hindi tayo pita bread. Maybe we can say the analogy, kapag pita bread, para kang clean slate. Lahat possible. Lahat ng feelings pwede mong ilagay. Pero sa atin, we have our individual purpose and calling. So if ako nilagay ako sa ganitong industry or workplace or group of people, I don't know if I will bloom there or if I will grow. Yes, we should be flexible. Pero let's admit na meron talaga tayong specific work dapat. Merong katalagang nag-resonate sa'yo pag sinabi natin content. Merong isa o dalawang content na talagang makes you, it makes you whole, it makes you alive in making it. Kasi ayun ka eh, ayun ako eh. Just like the bread itself, masarap na siya kahit wala kang ilagay na kahit ano. It's not the feeling that will make it special, but it's the bread itself. And just like us, maybe sometimes we just need to be ourselves. And that's enough. Always remember that from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And when we say content, Mahirap pekeen yan. Mahirap itago yan. Lalo na kung alam mo na kung ano talaga yung content mo or yung purpose mo sa life. For those of us na hindi pa alam kung ano yung content na meron tayo sa life or yung heart message natin, I pray that during these times, you have a sudden realization kung ano ba talaga yung content mo sa life. And at the end of this quarantine, I hope and pray that you pursue what your content really is. The things and people that make your content wholesome and enriching. In a world where everyone can say what they want to say and not be responsible or accountable for it, be that person who has that content na magpaka-responsible sa kanyang mga sinasabi. Be that person who offers this world wholeness. Be that person who gives life in every word na sinasabi niya. Remember, Everything has its audience and you cannot and you should not reach for everyone. You cannot save everyone. You cannot reach for everyone. Hindi tayo Superman. Hindi ka Superman, okay? Kasi baka mamaya, hindi ka pita bread. Pizza ka.